if you are following this channel you know that i already um, have a video regarding uh, how you can export from 3ds max or another video from blender 3d models as editable within cut imagine and shape so that is done using the obj file so uh, this is that video how to export that editable um, now i received this uh, latest comment so we see one day ago uh, so it's the reverse toka asks how to export model from katia to 3ds max so that's uh, that's the reverse now within 3ds max you can directly uh, import from um, from katia so if you're gonna go up to file import we're gonna see that we have the predefined katia v5 so we can bring in either cut part cut product or we can uh, open directly a cgl file format so as a as a case study i have this uh, this crank uh, engine over here and um, we have a, a demo kinematic model so if i'm gonna rotate the shaft uh, i'm gonna see that uh, our simulation is working like this so the main problem um, if you're gonna transfer um, from katia to 3ds max is that 3ds max will not be able to maintain either assembly constraints or uh, demo uh, kinematic joints so keep this in mind also we see that over here we have the scene open and set uh, shading with materials and we have various uh, materials added to the scene some uh, iron for the pistons and the crank but uh, the the colors if you're gonna go to shading with edges this will be the color of uh, of each part so that is managed by the graphic property um, uh, manager so for here if i will uh, change different colors those will also um, be exported to 3ds max so uh, i've i've made this uh, uh, orange but i didn't save the file so without having it uh, saved if i'm gonna go over here so this uh, these are the files we're gonna see uh, simulate with commands it was changed uh, this is the date so i didn't have that saved i can just simply have it drag and drop and uh, position it uh, within tds max and the software will start to uh, convert the file so this is for that if i would hit save uh, this element will also be uh, with purple but the main problem is that all the elements when you have them imported they are grouped like this so that means that if i'm gonna try to do something in tds max uh, the whole group will uh, will follow that uh, that command so initially you will have to go to group have it ungrouped twice and now we're gonna see each part is at the let's say uh, the same level over here so if you're gonna take a look at, at this we initially had uh, all the elements within a piston and all within a cut file so two ungroups are required if you are having uh, one uh, product with multiple uh, multiple parts the other problem is that over here the links will no longer be maintained as i said before so that means if i'm gonna rotate the, the crank it will uh, only rotate the crank and also we're gonna see that the pivot points are not properly defined so the pivot point for this part is over there for this part uh, it's in the middle and now uh, we have uh, for the components so you can adjust that uh, over here in the hierarchy with the adjust uh, pivot you can have that selected and you can uh, have the pivot reposition so for example now i have readjusted it over here that means that i can now move the the crank the crankshaft but all the components are not going to follow so mainly you can do that uh, with some links but in this case for this animation you're going to need some uh, some different animations in order to preserve uh, 
the movement for, for the piston because if I'm gonna rotate like this the rod will uh, will follow the, uh, the crank over here so it mm, will not follow that um, that cylindrical uh, joint that we had uh, defined over here uh, within Katia. So keep this in mind if you if you want to have them exported like this. It's usually if you have a, an assembly and you want to have it exported either uh, to 3ds Max or to Blender, mainly for uh, for some rendering, for some better rendering animation, and you can have that. Uh, since 3ds max uh, supports directly uh, cut parts that's also one of the main advantage of the software compared to blender because with blender you will have to to save it uh, either as an str file or uh, there are some workarounds with some add-ons but those are not uh, free and you will need those uh, those add-ons within Blender in order to be able to have uh, step files imported or, uh, or other file formats. So I hope that uh, you find this uh, this video useful. Uh, if so, please uh, let me let me know that in the comment section. I will also post uh, the video for the response. And uh, if others have um, various questions regarding my existing videos if something um, is not working as intended feel free to leave me a comment and i will address that with uh, with a video just like this one okay thanks thanks for watching